Good morning and welcome to Frankie de Tori, Sporty Index brand ambassador and now rider of 70 winners at Royal Ascot in your 30 years. You! Massive thrill yesterday on Fanny Logan, beating the boys on a lovely filly there, coming late to win, to swoop. Yeah, actually, I forgot I was on 69. And uh, yeah, I mean, the massive number. Uh, I, 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 you know, she, she really shocked me. I didn't expect her to do that yesterday, but hey, it's nice, it's nice to be pleasant and surprised like that. Brilliant. It was great. And very good gesture of you to donate um, the, uh, that cloth that Ascot uh, gave you yesterday in commemoration to charity. So just being Yeah, that's lovely. good. Yeah, uh, hopefully we'll make a few quid. And I think of the jockeys today, we are giving a riding fees to uh, the NHS. So uh, all good, positive stuff. All good. How are you feeling, Frankie? A bit drained after four days or still ready to go? Yeah, um, well, it's, it's the last push. Um, you know, mentally and physically, it's very demanding. Six or seven races. Every race is a, is a big one. So... Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I love Ascot, but uh, it is meant, like I said, on, 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 on myself, it's, it's quite hard. Uh, but I love the every minute of it, and I can't believe we're sitting here and it's the last day. So I'm gonna try to enjoy it, and um, you know, go some decent rides. Brilliant. And uh, today, just riding in the group races, another lovely day. Five group races to. Uh, share with you today and yep. starting with the Queen Mary today um you, you're riding for Wesley here I believe yeah right for Wesley's you know he's he's hit the cross by yesterday twice and I was uh, second in the in the Commonwealth and he was second with the in the Norfolk uh, it's a shame that we had that much rain I mean usually the American horses are much better on faster ground but I was very taken with this filly when she won in Keeneland um, and uh, I mean, the, the, the my biggest danger, you know, the, my biggest danger is more beautiful. She was almighty impressive when she won. We had drawn uh, very far apart. I'm drawn one, he's drawn 18. So uh, it'd be interesting if we stayed together and we split. Um, there is you know, other horses in the race with the, the same profile. He looks, he looks wide open, you know, but I was uh, very impressed with more beautiful when she won very easily. Uh, first time out for the O'Brien team. Very good. And um, <clears throat> then we go on to the Coronation Stakes Group 1 in the 1350. And I'll just get some odds up here. Um, I thought you mean, so we, we skip the co commentary then? Uh, very Coventry is you're quite right I've got it the wrong way around thank you very much <laughs> um, there you go my my brain's having a lie down it's been a long week for my brain and my liver what have you got there I mean, I, you know, what have we got here um, I've got the 150 up here Frankie and what have we got here yeah you, you make a Brian favourite it looks like Yes, uh, we got Admiral Nelson favourite. Um, I mean, my, my my fella, he 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 ran well, Kimman. Um, he, he would he would have improved, but yet to he have, he's got to improve to 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 do well. I fancy Thunder of Niagara, the bottom one. Uh, look at Joe Fanning. Is that Mark Johnson? But he was asked me. He asked me to ride it, and he won very well at Newcastle. I think they like him. But. Look at that! No, there's, there's some 40, 40 to one around this morning. So that's that'd be a lovely, lovely. I, if, uh, I, if I didn't have uh, to ride for John, uh, I would have rode that one. I was asked to ride that one. And then now moving on to the coronation stakes. Um, yeah. And here. Um, you are riding Alpine Star, um, yeah. second favourite, three to one. For, it's for Jessica Harrington. Yeah, Jessica horses are running well. She likes a bit of cut in the ground. Uh, for last year's form, she took on everything. She took on love. She took on uh, Santiago. I mean, her form is real solid. Obviously, what puts you off, she, she hasn't run this year. 
uh, I would say quadrilateral is the one to beat. Uh, she was a bit gassy in the Guineas. Uh, yeah. Uh, I hope that my filly brings her A game and I think uh, without loving the race makes it wide open and yeah, I've, I've got a chance. Believe it or not, I never won the coronation. So hey, well, we'll put that right today. I've been trying for 30 years. <laughs> well, 70 winners isn't bad in 30 years. I think a lot we'll of people it. would love to swap shoes with you. Go on. Next. Uh, right. On to the St. James's Palace State. Um, this was ridden by Rab last time at Newcastle because you were at Newmarket on Guinea's Day. Um, you're on Palace Pier here. Uh, I was quite taken by this, actually. But you were, you were riding Wichita that day, I believe, at uh, Newmarket. Yeah, I mean, uh, we always liked the horse. And uh, for some reason, he got really lazy at home. And it, it wasn't really showing what we, what we wanted to see. So we opted on the handicap route at Newcastle. And, uh, yeah, obviously, taking him racing, woke him up. And, uh, and I know he was a handicap, but he absolutely flew. So, uh, you know, we always thought a lot of him, like I said, his own work is you can't tell too much. Uh, you know, the first two in the bet is set the standard. I mean, uh, um, with Cheetah, he's a good galloper. The stiff man, Asko, will suit him. Uh, to me, in the Guinea, Spinatubo didn't get the mile. Uh, and I, I was think that with Cheetah will still reverse the form with Pinatubo. Now, where mine, how mine will feature with them, I don't know, but is, I'm excited. I want to see uh, what he's made of, really. But like I said, at home, it doesn't show a great deal. He's a quiet laid back. So, yeah, you know, we'll see. Brilliant. Um, very exciting. Um, then we go to the 335, and here you are riding Skeptical um, in the Diamond Jubilee. Um, very exciting ride. This was a two and a half thousand pound cast off from Godolphin last year. So some very lucky owners picked this up for, for nothing at all. Yeah, good. Um, I'm, I mean, the excited horse is in tremendous form. He absolutely bolted up last time. I know most of the races have been on the old weather. But he's, he comes into this race ultra fit. Um, uh, you got to respect Yellow Yum Zane. Uh, one master's going back in distance, but he always runs a good race. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's not the strongest. Uh, there is no blue point in this race, you know. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I wish him all the best on the, this uh, very cheap purchase. And uh, it's, it's your last ride at Ascot today, so then feet up and, and you, can, you can head home and get a well-earned rest before Father's Day tomorrow. Yeah, I'm the same as you, uh, in, in the couch, glass of wine and watch some football tomorrow. Oh, looking forward to that. Um, right, Frankie, thank you so much for all your thank thoughts you. this week. They've been brilliant and most insightful and helpful. Um, to everyone at home, just remember that your losses can exceed your deposit and remember to gamble responsibly. Thank you, Frankie. Good luck today. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, mate. Well done, Chief. Bye.